Morning, so um, we're just about to, uh, we're just loading up to head over to Padstow to take um, a lovely old fishing boat called Eleanor Rose across the Bristol Channel and up the Irish Sea into Aberystwyth. So we're on board the Eleanor Rose, am I pronouncing that? Correct, yes. Yeah, yeah. And we're, we're looking forward to slipping the lines and heading off out of Padstow here in a couple of minutes. So Edward here has looked after this boat for quite a while. How long? How 30 long years. Yeah. 30 years. Have you, had, um, have you been fishing with her that whole time? Yes, 30 years, yes. Yeah. Uh, any, any particular stories or anything you remember from oh. back in the day? <laughs> oh, a few near disasters, but uh, yeah, comfortable, all right. Yeah. It must be... Um, it must be difficult to say, to say goodbye to her. It was a big wrench, I can tell you. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Edward. And um, we we will we'll look we'll look after her on yeah. the passage anyway. And it's been it's been great to meet you. Thanks, Mary. Right. Cheers. Father on my case, thinks so what I'm doing's wrong. Well, excuse me, boss man, for dancing to last night's song. Oh, I've got this tune, a while it's stuck in my head. This tune even woke me from my bed. Now I'm not on time, and I'm definitely wired. But we've got time. an old Gardner 6 Alex, which um, I'm sure would have been installed when the boat was new in 1979. It's been pushing us along at just over six knots at about a thousand RPM for the last 24 hours. No glitches or hiccups at all. Have you ever worked with a motor like this before? Yeah, yeah, I've worked on a few of these engines before. Rebuilt one a couple of years ago. Um, they're, they're brilliant old, old things. Brilliant, massively over-engineered, incredibly strong, last forever, a bit noisy. It was built in 1979 and she's a Roco plant on oak frames. She's 16 tonnes and um, she's been fishing out of Padstow as a crabbing boat uh, with her owner Edward for, for all of those years. Uh, for the last couple of hours we've been um, keeping our eyes peeled for big bits of driftwood. Um, Wales has, has had some pretty ferocious storms I understand in the last couple of days and Quite a lot of big bits of timber have been washed out of the river mouths here. So we've seen quite a lot of trees and logs floating about. So luckily we've got some good bits and we're um, we're busy busy dodging some logs at the moment. And instead of dodging stuff, you normally do another thing which is pick up stuff, right? Yeah, I'm normally out there looking for stuff that's floating around in the sea. Um, my charitable organisation, Clean Ocean Sailing. We take people to see volunteers out in our big boat and little boats, uh, little sailing boats and canoes and we clean up the, the rivers and the coastline of Cornwall and beyond from the, the, the deadly marine plastic waste that's out there causing so much trouble to our beautiful oceans. How long have you been doing it for? Uh, well, unofficially, like more than 12 years since I bought my boat. Um, but we set up our website a year ago and, um, and a Patreon page, so you can see what we're doing at uh, Patreon forward slash Clean Ocean Sailing. Or we're, all, we're on Facebook and Instagram as Clean Ocean Sailing, and um, it's been amazing the response we've had. We've had over 50 volunteers this year. We've picked up over 2,000 kilos of, of pieces of plastic waste from all over the Cornish coast, and uh, we sort it and weigh it. And at the moment, we're just storing it because. Frankly, we don't know what to do with it. We don't want it to go to landfill or incineration because we feel that's just moving the problem from the ocean to somewhere else. So if anyone's got any ideas as to what we can do with it, so we'd love to hear from you. But please hear me out before you get my spine. I've been getting no sleep, but no, just been getting naps. Most of them have been standing, working, screwing on these caps. No, excuse me. I want to dance 
It's what's gonna get me through my moody does in hand So Mr. Boss Man Excuse me for doing the James Brown Oh Mr. Boss Man Whoa. 